Um, and I got them bombs facing off against moons here in the ladder. Yeah, so uh, we saw I got them bombs play earlier, yeah? So yes. yes. Moons on the DJ the challenger. Okay, has not taken the character into range yet, but we all know that the LI crew is more interested in playing amongst themselves than they are going online sometimes. Oh no, one of the things about DJ that is a little bit more difficult, a lot of your mid-range pokes are not cancelable, so it is a little bit harder Ooh, no. for you to contend with DI if you're trying to use roundhouse. Oh, that was a bit of a tough spot. I mean, we've seen a few times now that I Got The Bombs clearly has these Jinrai loops in the corner, but... Every now and then, if you're slightly off, you throw out that DP and, I mean, you could get big punished. They didn't get big punished, but they could have made big punished. He's feeling a little bit of a- Okay, we're going for the, uh, the, uh, the, the combo challenge oh. uh, combos there. With the, uh, the behind the back Tatsu pick up there from I Got Dead Bomb. Coming off a little bit of the stream. I mean, look at how much damage that one combo from DJ really did with the, the machine gun punch. Like, this character can get away with some degeneracy, but I got them bombs doing a pretty good job of controlling it. Slowly inching forward. What a whiff punish has the punish counter, but what is no going real on? pick up there. Again, uh, so many of DJ's uh, longest range pokes, you don't get anything off of it. Ah, uh, there's the level three. The critical art coming out. Full animation game one going over to I Got The Bombs. Yeah, I think for moves there, I think there were two issues. One, there were a lot of hits that weren't converting into very much. Maybe Moons hasn't played this game or this character as much as I want to give credit for. Uh, and the other mm. thing is that there's so many of these longer range tools that are just getting smoked by DI of I Got Them Bombs. Okay. We finally see the bust out there from Moons catching the jump arc of Bombs, but what can you do with this back, back throw, right? Do you try and play this weird zoning game? It hasn't been working so far. Oh, that's going to hurt. Side swap coming in as well. Yeah, that's such a great spot to try to pull out uh, a reverse over there. I think that's what we're trying to represent. An OD uppercut through the Ooh. fireballs and Fierce connects. I got them bombs on set point. Yeah, Moons seems to be trying to play that like solid neutral game where death of a thousand cuts. I don't have to worry about my combos if I just out neutral you. And I got them Bob says, sick, watch me do this combo, and ends up winning. Yeah, I think for DJ, I think DJ has a couple of things that I think he can do. That. One is like that towards medium kick. You know what? I'll break it down a little bit more when we're not watching the set about to end, because I got them Bob gets the low crush off of the Dragon Lash right into the super power and throws that one out, allowing me to seamlessly transition back to my original point. Yeah, so for DJ, I think he has great combo potential if you incorporate uh, OD just cool, like his, his back sweat. Um, using either that or machine gun blows just lets you pile on crazy amounts of damage. And once you have a lead, it's easier to sit on it because you have a decent fireball game, really strong pokes. Uh, you have a two-hit fireball that's not gated behind using drive gauge in your uh, heavy punch slasher. You have a, a proper anti or two proper anti airs if you use back roundhouse. And the ability to, you know, keep safer pressure a little bit tricky because you have staggers off of light medium punch medium punch target combo uh what we were seeing from moons was too much reliance on like standing medium kick standing roundhouse 